video is the first of its kind for me. It's a subhash record. It focuses on music. But I'm focused currently on some of the older and uh, uh, more brilliant vehicles from the early 3D GTA era. So I believe truly that Rockstar is a different company in this day and age. The year is 2023. It's not 2001 anymore. And the power pack of Benzies and Housers and the Fowlers and the Sarwars are, they've all been, it's changed, everything's changed. So focusing on some of the vehicles that I feel like were one-offs or abandoned possibly by Rockstar, I'm, I'm making this video to comment just some brief thoughts on any of them and maybe to uh, bring them back into the light because I feel like some of these vehicles are gone, they're abandoned by Rockstar. So that's fine. So let's get into it. It's Diablo Stallion. Uh, was the baddest ever on four wheels, and it's, in my mind, been a band. have no liveries, have no flame liveries for stallions. The coupe change in Grand Theft Auto 4, this stallion looks different. Never been able to drive that vehicle again because they just don't care about it, and they've abandoned it. This Yakuza Stinger uh, was one of the brilliant cars in GTA 3. It's uh, a little quirky and cumbersome by today's standards when you look at it. Transitioning this vehicle into a high-definition universe would be a little awkward. I don't know how they would retain the dimensions, the headlights, or other things like that. I like the way the car looks, and I like the way it drives, but the Stinger evolved in Vice City, and I drove one yesterday, and it's brilliant. I enjoy both eras of the Stinger, but I uh, miss the Yakuza Stinger. I wish they had done something with that, because it was a pretty cool vehicle. So, a little awkward. wonder how it would render today. I'm not quite sure. Another gang vehicle is the fish van, which isn't, you know, it's not really that special. The uh, turtle head lock fish van. The triads had their own variant. There's a Mr. Wong's van, too, a laundry van. It's another variant, which I didn't discover for a long time, and that's just a similar. So there's nothing particularly special about it, but it is a signature vehicle. Okay, so I'm just going to throw that in there and say the fish van is pretty cool. But other than being there in the woods, you're probably not going to catch me driving that. It's just one of these things. So, Triad Fish Van. Kind of cool. Not too bad. They'll do a lot of variants with the Rumpo and the Vans and things like that. So, it's just another skin variant. So, it's just a funny thing to write Rockstar and say, Hey, you know what? I, you know, they've remastered these old games. They're, I don't know what Forza looks like. Does Forza uh, allow a list of, of vehicles? You know, Gran Turismo had an extensive list of vehicles. You know, I don't know what they do as far as a throwback. I've never played Forza. Okay, I, I truly don't understand. I know at this point that Rockstar has a significant autos website for Grand Theft Auto Online. Okay, they have, uh, you know, a lot of vehicles available. But it just seems like there's a lot of things that are missing. In the instance of particular gang cars, uh, the early 3D era games are... They're basically one-offs, so it gets down to the point where Liberty City Stories is really the last entry where we have gang cars like a Ferrelli or a Sindaco or a Leone. No. I'm not finding uh, a similar uh, situation in 4. I'm not finding it in 5, where gang cars will drive regular Land Rovers or bikes or, you know, the Cadillacs or whatever. And none of the vehicles ever, after 3D era, were labeled with a name and then with a specific vehicle. So some of the fun and some of the thrill of driving a Cuban Hermes was that it's a unique vehicle, not only to itself, but that it's a specific gang vehicle. You know, a reskinned Diablo Stallion. You know, uh, in San Andreas, where where is the vehicle? They have Cuban Hermes in San Andreas, probably. I, I can't remember. Pretty cool vehicle. Just the reskin of the Diablo Stallion. And unfortunately, where is the Diablo Stallion in current gen? Grand Theft Auto Online, it's it's missing or it's abandoned. You know, a new era Rockstar are not concerned about old assets. Having Grove Street Games remaster the trilogy, there's a lot to appreciate and a lot of breakdown there, but there's still a lot that's missing. So, again, the Yardy Lobo is another situation. This is a one-off vehicle. There was never a regular variant for the Lobo, and I've never seen it since then, and it's just so specifically unique uh, that I go back and play three and just wonder why it was abandoned. You know, they've added unique vehicles into Liberty City Stories. They've added unique vehicles into Vice City Stories. But the Lobo is, again, never to be found again, and it's just gone forever. So, you know, I don't know what their concern is. I don't know who runs Rockstar, whether it's the nerds or whether it's corporate hacks or whatever. They make great products and they make great games. But these days, with live service and subscription and, you know, the Forzas and the Call of Duties and the top-tier, uh, you know, games that... Their concern is multiplayer, deathmatch, aesthetic, and try-hard, ass-kissing, and, you know, all this 
pandering to Call of Duty, uh, you know, young people who want to just blast into smithereens. You know, a lot of people are arguing about what Grand Theft Auto is. Is it a simulator? You know, they'll tell you it isn't. I'm an older player, okay, so what I see is the evolution of all the games, and at some point, games are essentially replacing uh, titles, like Grand Theft Auto is replacing The Sims, it's replacing Driver, it's replacing Gran Turismo for me, it's replacing shooting games, it's replacing flying games, it, Road Rash, doesn't matter what it is. So, it's filling in a gap for a lot of old titles, because the open world simulator continues to grow. Uh, this Saber Turbo is not a game, okay, but it's significantly unique. And I love the damn thing. There's nothing I could ever do to not love that vehicle. Attempting to make it in online yesterday, you know, they don't have the liveries, and it's got extra taillights, and you just can't do it in online. They purposely don't allow you to add a stripe livery like that. It just makes me livid. So back to the Trojan Voodoo. Okay, this is another Yardi Lobo reskin, okay, where they have the hydraulics, and it's just great. It's just a great vehicle. The Voodoo in 5 and online is actually also brilliant, if you know where to look for it. Lately, we're getting a lot of these rare colors for tornadoes and voodoos because they're rust-colored, and when you take them into bennies, you get really rare color variants for them. So, Trojan Voodoo is a vehicle that's current gen, and it's in uh, 5 and online, and it's a great vehicle. It's bad. If you like low riders, it's great. I personally like the Gang Burrito. I think it's the baddest van ever. And there was, you know, I don't know if there was another variant of another van that was really as cool. Uh, I personally like uh, Rumpos and Moonbeams and shit like that, so... Uh, Gang Burrito is a particularly, particularly cool van. Uh, you can find the one with the teddy bear strapped to the front. That's actually pretty cool. So yeah, I don't know whether that's in later titles. I don't think it is, but... Okay, so the Senten the Mafia Sentinel is another vehicle that... Uh, if you look at the Yakuza Stinger, just by some of the 3D era dimensions, that the taillights are just a bit bulk. And it's just a bit bulk. Uh, there's been a Sentinel that was released in Grand Theft Auto Online uh, two years ago, and it, it looks similar. Okay, it's like a it's like a classic Uber mocked Sentinel or something like that, and it has tones of what the Mafia Sentinel could have could have been, but it just isn't the same. Okay, its size is just a little different, and it doesn't have the same lights and things like that. So I, I like the Mafia Sentinel. I think it's a beautiful car, and it's a great take on what a Beamer could have been. It was originally called the Mafia Beamer. I just found out yesterday in the beta games they called it the Beamer, but that's not going to work. So we'll call it something else because I don't want to tread that copyright line. Okay. So, beautiful car. I truly wish they would import it to online, and, you know, they don't care, so that's fine. So, they're lost, and hopefully, maybe eventually they'll get to it, but, you know, their feedback loop is broken, then they're not accepting feedback. They're going to close down Grand Theft Auto for old gen online, then great. Then who knows what we'll see. But, I truly don't know what 6 will look like. Maybe they'll create a list of imported vehicles. I doubt it. If they're continuing to cater and pander, then they could make a great game, but maybe they'll miss some of the points that unfortunate. What is this? A Hoods Rumbo. Another reskin of a uh, Rumbo van. Nothing particularly unique whatsoever about the Hoods Rumbo XL, except that it's kind of cool. It has like weird ice cream secondary color flares on the bottom, like some kind of Neapolitan ice cream or something funny, so I, I don't know. You know, uh, most people, they don't care about vans, they don't care about any of that. An obscure and forgotten vehicle from uh, several gang sects that didn't you know, have very uh, extensive storylines in 3 between the, the uh, uh, it was Purple Jacks and who were the other guys? I can't remember. I don't know. Cool van, though. I really dug driving it around for a bit just for a nostalgic feel. Same as the fish truck. You know, it's not going to serve you any purpose as far as speed or, you know, acceleration. But pretty cool van. And truthfully, I, I wish they would have Rumpo liveries in online because then I'd probably try to put something like that together. Hood's Rumpo, some of those forgotten gangs in Co-op City, Shoreside Vale on the other side. So pretty cool, but it's again, it's up to your taste what you really enjoy or what you like driving around. So, ice cream van, yeah, bring it back, bring it back, Rockstar. Let's get that going. Looks like the Cartel Cruiser was a pretty cool uh, uh, truck. Colombians driving a Cartel Cruiser. Uh, living in California, some idea of what type of vehicles are produced in Asian markets or in South America. And a lot of those cartel guys drive Toyota Land Cruisers, and Prados, and other things like that. So, being a little older, you know, this truck isn't too far off from the type of thing that, that is being driven down there in Mexico and in South America. Okay, so those guys, they do big um, off-roads, they do big four-wheel drives and things like that. So, it just goes to show that back then, that there was a pretty articulate expression of what I think they thought they were driving. Cool truck, it always sounded kind of rough and rugged, I really enjoyed it, but... 
I don't know that there's another Cartel Cruiser variant. I think there was possibly one in Liberty City Stories, but I'm not exactly sure. So, yeah, it would be great to see it make a comeback. You know, Prados are pretty cool. You know, it's all business down in Mexico. You know, no, nothing but love for any businessman or whatever, but you got cut through people everywhere, bro. No need to really give them too much shit about it, okay? So the truth is, is that Cruiser's pretty cool. Cartel Cruiser is pretty cool vehicle, so. We have something else. Uh, and I'm going to just briefly touch on something else because I don't have any footage, nor do I have the game available from PlayStation Network that the Cholo Saber is a significant reskin of the Saber Turbo in Vice City Stories. And being a yellow variant with other wheels on it was just always so brilliant to me. You say, well, it's just a simple color change. There's no difference in pace or speed or something. But And that's true, but I think it has its own personality, and that's just something special. So... I'm going to reference the Cholo Saber as being awesome, and I wish I could try to make it in online. Maybe we'll try. The Ferrelli Excess is another vehicle, as far as the end of the generation of 3D games went, that moving into 4, you are not going to see these types of vehicles anymore, where it's a specific name. Uh, maybe unless it's Lost in the Damned, or it's, you know, with the, with the Angel or, the, or something. I think the Angel is considered a gang vehicle in Vice City Motorcycle, and that is not included here. So I believe that's the only thing I really didn't include was the Angel. So the Excess was cool. Liberty City Stories was cool. The Sindaco Argeno was also a surprise that they put a Sindaco label on it. There are numerous gangs in in Liberty City Stories, okay? And it's, you know, one of these things. Um, so they added all sorts of cool stuff to that PSP entry in, in 2006. And uh, the Argento is a one-off. It has no non-variant. And it's pretty cool. So I wish they would bring it back to life and online. But, yeah, good luck with that. So, anyway. All right, cool. Take care now.